Now it's time to press buttons and talk with Maggie and Rosie D. What is the connection? What could it be? It has all the same people. It has to be a connection. It is my belief that these two cases are related to each other somehow. Plus, that detective, Detective Gum Dick, or whatever his name is, it's obvious he's lying, even though the lie is hurting his chances. Clearly, this case is far from over. But whether or not that detective is the murderer can only be determined once I've completed my perfect investigation. Wow. Mr. Von Karma, I swear to uphold your honorable name, or my name isn't Miles Edgeworth. To be continued. Mr. Von Karma, the noble owner of Manny's, short-lived as it was. But it was in that two hours, it became very famous. You ran that restaurant well. They say you actually had one customer before the fire took it. And then the customer went up in flames with the restaurant. And then you ate His the meal was so good that he ignored the flames around. What is, what is that guy doing? I don't know. It's fun. Sir, what is to become of the trial into the Godopian Embassy staff member's murder? My hands are all wet, hooey! Indeed, since both the suspect and the prosecutor are now dead, the case will be dismissed. In other words, a trial ends here prematurely. Ha! Looks like you'll have to wait just a little bit longer for your big debut. I suppose it can't be helped. It's like what happened to Elvis. The evidence for this trial will be transferred to you in a little while. Wait, what do you mean? It's like our Elvis? friend Elvis. Because he was, his big debut on the channel was delayed. Because Oh, that's right, because we lost Korea. the episode. As an old PBNT I was, I was like, Elvis, I was, like, I was sure Presley? everybody would get, yeah. <laughs> he was delayed. I was like, what happened in history? Sir, what do you think about the murder of the Kadopian Embassy staff member? Remember when Elvis Presley was uh, sidetracked by a murder? Yeah. And that's why he didn't and he come out? He, he would have been famous, like... Five years earlier, but... And the murders of Mr. Faraday and Mr. Rell. So I got this murder to take care of. What an outrageous circus it has all become. That Faraday brought it all upon himself with his naivete. An outrageous circus? Right, sir. I grow weary of this topic that with I fucking hate circuses. I will have you assigned to a different case. Papa? You'll come and watch my courtroom debut next, won't you? Hmm. I'll consider it's it. It's airing all over Germany. Sir, if I may, please allow me to continue with my investigation. Whatever for? I know that there is already a suspect in the murder of Mr. Faraday and Mr. Rell. However, there is not enough evidence to prove that it was he who committed the crime. I'd like to continue investigating in order to find the perfect proof of his guilt. The perfect proof? Don't make me laugh. A worthless person like you has no right to claim such a thing as perfection. Damn, that's cold. Um, Papa, you're being pretty fucking mean right now. Who do you think is the real culprit behind these murders? Uh, mm. Miles and I, we are competing to see who can find the real killer first, and I'm winning by like a hundred points. Plus, being able to investigate a real crime scene is a really rare opportunity. I, it would give us some real life experience, wouldn't you agree? How old is Manfred? Uh, Manfred, how old are you? How old are you, you, you old bitch? How old are you? 60. <laughs> old bitch. You old bitch. You're 60 old bitch. Uh, right. okay. So yeah, 40, so he was 47 when she was born. Okay, that's a little older, but that's fine. Mm. <laughs> if you want to investigate this case that much, then do as you wish. Then you're allowing us to continue. In court, your top priority is to win. And a solid investigation is one of the keys to winning. We have to make sure you become recognized as a first-rate prosecutor, don't we? It wouldn't be very interesting otherwise. I'm returning home now. Edgeworth, Francisca, see to it I'm not disturbed, save for the results of your competition. Yes, sir. Of course, Papa. This feels very Mother Gothel-like. A little bit. Francisca, thank you. What are you thanking me for? Your logic earlier was built on that scruffy detective's lie. 
That means that the competition is still on. Yes, just as you wished. Hmm. I couldn't let you get off so easily. Now then, let's see how well you fare on the investigation from here, Miles Edgeworth. I know I don't have enough information yet, so my first order of business will be to question anyone involved with this case. Now, the first order of business, what, what, what's happening, buddy? La, 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 la. I got stopped the water, sir, and not that I would want to. It seems that the man who was here earlier broke it by drinking from it too much. Bunch of fools who pretended to not see the foolishly foolish actions of a foolish fool. Well then, why don't you lend the officer a hand? La, 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 la. Hmm. As if I should have anything to do with this. Besides, that water drinking fool's mouth is this thing that officer should be covering. Let's give that officer a description of the water guzzler later. She seems to have quite the grudge. It sounds to me like someone wanted a drink. Or were you thirsty? No, I, I never drink. I you don't. never drink? <laughs> of course I don't drink. It wasn't me, I tell you. I didn't do anything wrong. Yes, I understand. Sources calm down, okay, buddy? <laughs> I don't I'll get anything in useful from the detective while he is this agitated. I am so steamed right now. Let's talk to you. You! Uh, you, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you? <laughs> Ms. You! Oh, it's you, Edgeworth. And who... Are you? No, that's you. You? Wait. You were at the crime scene just now, weren't you? You should be disbarred for not knowing who I am. I am Francisca von Karma. She's so nice, funny, no, something. Stop I don't poking know. my shoulder. And I'm going, your shoulder's very nice. I just like the label on your jacket here. And I am about to become the successor to the family name. About to? I guess that means that for now, you're still just another kid. In which case, it's only natural that I didn't know who you are. Ooh. Why are you whipping me? Because I'm mad. <laughs> anyway, it looks like they're planning to hold the evidence a bit longer. If there's one thing I can't stand, it's waiting. I'm terribly sorry, but I have but a few more questions to ask of you. <laughs> What is what? <laughs> what? Look at you, eyebrow scrunch and your lines on your forehead. Ugly. Ugly. <laughs> ugly. Ugly. Big nose. And that to ask of you. <laughs> what, what exactly is so funny? <clears throat> Sorry. I'm just bad at dealing with a super serious atmosphere. Apparently, they failed to teach you proper behavior of a crime scene at a crime scene in law school. Uh, ooh, I feel much better now. So, uh, what is it you want to talk about? I'd like to inquire as to where you were at the time of the murder. All right, the murder. We were in defendant lobby number one the whole time up until we heard the gunshot. And by we, I mean Mr. Bad. If you don't believe me, I feel free to ask him yourself. You were with Detective Bad. Why? Because we're friends, dipshit. We had a little something to discuss, that's all. Detective Bad. So I take it that you are acquaintances with Detective Bad? Yeah, and he was the detective in charge of the KG-8 incident. Huh. Detective Bad is also related to that incident? Yeah, it's kind of weird. That's right. He was the one who was supposed to protect my sister, Cece, but he did, didn't protect her. Now she's dead. Ooh. But you know how that turned out, don't you, Mr. Edgeworth? Don't you, Edgeworth? Oh, you're about to be polite to me for I, a second. I decided not to be. Miles Edgeworth, I have no idea what you two are talking about, and I feel excluded. Is from this the like an inside joke? I feel alienated. I've heard of the KG-8 incident from my papa. But how does that case relate to you, Ms. Yu? The victim of that case, CCU, was my little sister. Oh. No, don't worry, it's funny. <laughs> you're making that super serious face again. Every time I talk about my dead sister, you're so serious. I'm fine. Really. I just make it a point to rub some more salt in his wounded pride every time I see him. The way she talks about doing that as she laughs away is kind of creepy. Oh, speaking of Mr. Bad and Mr. Faraday, he- wait, oh, he and Mr. Faraday. I'd say they met up just about every single time the Yatagarasu made a move. It was practically a given that the two would meet up at every one of the crime scenes. I see. 
He did mention that he is in charge of the Atagarasu investigation earlier. Maybe I should ask her what she knows about the Atagarasu in more detail. I mean, you could. You claim that at the time of the murder, you were with Detective Bab. But don't you lawyers usually discuss the trial with your clients during a recess? We do, and that's what I was planning to do. But Mr. Faraday was being rather threatening, and he dragged Mr. Rell away. After that, Mr. Bad came into lobby number one, so we just stayed there and talked. Hung out. And what did you talk with Detective Bad about? Watch some YouTube videos. What YouTube videos did you watch? Uh, there's a trailer for the new uh, Nintendo Land theme park. It looked really cool, but uh, it's, I'm not sure what actually happens there. Nothing interesting. I just insulted him some. Talked about how the trial was going, and then I insulted him some more. But I think there's gonna be like a real Mario Kart that looks kind of fun. I want to ride in real Mario Kart. Bloody. When she's out laughing, her mouth seemingly spews nothing but insults. Anyway, Mr. Bad and I were in defendant lobby number one when the murders occurred. So I really can't tell you anything about the hallway or lobby number two. I see. Sorry, bitch. Don't know anything. We were watching Charlie the Unicorn. I like, and they're like, Charlie. You remember that, Mr. Edgeworth? I'd like to ask you a few questions about your client, Mr. Mackrell. Candy Mountain Charlie. I don't know what you're talking about. Now, your client first claimed to be the Atagarasu. Is that correct? Okay, hold on. I'm going to pull this up. It's, you got to see it. It's the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Edgeworth just stonily faced, just <laughs> watches the entire thing. He would be the type to, like, intentionally, like, try as hard as he can not to make any expression. Yeah. Yeah. Once I heard that it was the Yatagarasu that had made off with the evidence from KG-8, I began to ask Mr. Rill all sorts of questions, but to no avail. Turns out Mr. Rill was not the Yatagarasu. He had just made that up. He made it up? Mr. Rill's crime was caught on tape by the security cameras, but there is no footage of him sneaking into the Kodopian Embassy itself. Hold on for just one second. Then you mean to say that you knew that he was not the real Yatagarasu? And that he was just another cold-blooded killer? And you were ready to defend him? Yes, that's right. I see. So a defense lawyer is actually just someone whose job is to cover for criminals. That's why defense lawyers are so detestable. But, but they are no match for us von Karma. Because in every single trial, if you're convicted, you are guilty. <laughs> you're the bad guy. <laughs> I don't believe it. You're serious. Why don't you save that face for something really worth being serious about, like a sister dying? I have one of those. So, yeah, take that. And Edgeworth, do you remember what I said earlier? I have my own agenda. <laughs> I'm still on the hunt for those leads regarding the KG-8 incident, all right? And for that, you have not a single qualm about defending a known killer? Don't put words in my mouth. I said no such thing. The only way I had to get close to Mr. Rell was to be his lawyer. I had no intention of covering for him, ever. So don't you dare suggest that I was going to. I'm sorry. Forgive my rashness. Fuck you, man, you asshole. Ask me about the Yatagarasu. Ms. Yu, I was wondering if you could tell me about the Yatagarasu. The Yatagarasu, huh? I don't really know much about that character myself, but I do get a lot of consultation requests from the companies to defend them. Requests from companies? The Yatagarasu isn't some petty thief out for money, you know. Hmm. All right, then. Perhaps the Yatagarasu is in the business of stealing other people's lives. You're not very funny or witty, are you, little Ms. Von Karma? Ugh. I'm so funny. Princess Von Karma, she's so funny. That doesn't even roll off the tongue. That's a oh. terror. You're never going to write a song. Francisca, be careful about who you whip and what lyrics you create. Choose carefully or we may be sued by... Oh! There. I chose carefully, just like you wanted. She sold... Silly? No. <laughs> hmm? Why are you laughing? 
<laughs> that, that just now was hilarious, little Missy. Hmm, of course it was. What is wrong with these two women? Why does my pain give them delight? And? So in the end, what is the Yatagarasu? I have to say, I had never even heard of this thief when I was in Germany. The Yatagarasu deals in information, namely in digging out dirt about backroom dealings and the like of companies. The Yatagarasu is a vigilante who steals such info and then makes it public for all to see. Hmm. Vigilante or not, this person sounds like just another criminal to me. I suppose you could put it that way too. But either way, I get a lot more clients now thanks to that thief. Sounds like Ms. Yu is profiting nicely. Ah. Uh. Hmm. I suppose I've gotten all I can out of Ms. Yu. I should move on and speak with Detective Gumshoe now, because now he's ready. Maybe next time we'll talk to Detective Gumshoe. Get out of Francis. <laughs> I can, no, I'm not moving. You have to find the way to get around. Can you around. seriously not just step aside for- No, I could, but I'm not going to. Ah, uh, you can't- oh, 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 No, no, I'm not going to- I'm not going to let you. Get out. Idiot.